As soon as you load into RezOps, you're going to uh, move over to the right-hand side of the, the first area. You're going to crouch into the floor, and you're going to aim for a certain line in order to clip through the floor uh, by opening a door. So, equip the pistol for this. It makes it a lot easier. You're going to look for this Hello, strap right here. I am Vega, the Once you're, as opposed to, like, this this area up After here, you're gonna, look, look for the one with the strap. You're going to crouch down, get over to this line with uh, right next to the yellow part of this bar. You're going to right about here. I have added and you clip right through the floor. It's very easy to do. Equip explosive shot and blow up the zombies. Now, if you get lucky and a couple zombies are left alive, you can get glory kills on them for varieties of the spice of life one. Otherwise, come over here. You get two freebies on these two zombies, so I would take advantage of them. Very odd. Grab the codex and then reload checkpoint to get out of all of that craziness. Uh, once you're back in, you're going to back up, come back into this area. You can jump up here, jump to this beam right here, and then jump to this one to get up here uh, pretty quickly. Now, I like this this boost right here. If you prefer doing that boost over there, um, you can do that one. I find this one to be a lot easier and a little bit faster to, to line up now that you're actually over here. Uh, once you get to this spot, you're you're lining up on this, this line right here. You're which angle you approach this thing from is going to be determined by how much of this shadow is, is displayed on this panel right here. So if you try to jump right here like this, you're probably going to get boosted to a weird spot um, that's farther away from where you want to end up. If you try to boost from here, where there's like no panel showing, you will probably get boosted out of bounds. So you want to boost with about yay much showing. It's hard to exactly pinpoint the amount that you need. Um, it's, you're going to have to kind of figure it out by feel. Uh, but once you do that, you're going to jump and then SW the way that we did in the UAC arena in the last level. Just like that. And if you do it properly and you line up in the right spot, you'll land actually right here, uh, which is exactly where you want to end up. Come over to this wall. You're going to wiggle back and forth. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. To get out of bounds. You get a little bit of uh, leeway here to uh, line up on this I-beam. Stand up and do a nice big thick scroll jump to get over this barrel. And if you do it right, you land inside the classic level. Now you can navigate back in bounce from there, but unless you do it really, really optimally, it's not actually faster. It's It'll be faster to just reload checkpoint. Come back over here, do the same thing, get to the same spot. You're getting to the same spot with uh, another rail boost. I'll show you this boost if you, uh, if you want to try this one instead. Um, this one, you may want to frame cap to 175 uh, to do it because it's a little bit... It's a little bit inconsistent sometimes uh, where you land if you try to do it at 200, but you want to line up right about this spot right here. Uh, once you do, you're going to hit SW, or in my case, DE, and that'll get you to where you're going. Oh, it'll usually get, to, get you to where you're going. Uh, but this is also why you want to frame cap. Sometimes those boosts are, are really big. Yeah, so this will get you up here, and then from here you can just boost right there. I prefer the first one, but you can do that one if you want. You're going to wiggle back out of bounds, just as before. I'm going to get to right about here. Uh, and then for this jump, you're jumping onto this beam right here. This is going to require a bit of a, uh, a bit of trust in the game and the mechanics. Um, you're going to push forward, jump, and you're only going to hold forward for about half of the jump. Let go about halfway through the jump. It's going to seem like you should be holding it the whole time. Don't. You will f clear the beam and fall out of bounds. Uh, so let me just save so I can show you. Just like that. See, I held for too long, and that's what happened. So. Let's try this again. End up in the same spot. Maybe move uh, slightly over, just for the sake of, uh, of having a little bit more room for this. Uh, forward, jump, and then let go of forward about halfway through. Yeah, so I, I did the inputs a little bit funny there, but um, this is one of those things that's gonna, it's gonna just take some practice. Um, you want to be a little bit farther over to the right for this, just for the sake of safety. Once you get, like, really comfortable with it, you can actually do the jump from right here. Um, but it is a little bit... I need to be a little bit more inconsistent to, to do that. I find I can sometimes clip back inbounds on this wall from there. So I like to jump from here, just for the sake of safety. Um, you're aiming for this this spot right here. Now, there's two platforms uh, involved here. Now, you'll know it's a solid platform, because you'll hear a thud when you land. Um, but you're, you're landing for this platform right here. From there, you're going to jump and onto this platform above it. 
Um, and both give you nice solid thuds when you land, so you'll know you're, you're in a spot that is uh, viable. Uh, do a nice big scroll jump to get on that first one. And then jump and go to the right just a little bit to get to the second one. Now, this one I actually just jumped straight up into it because I was hanging on the right-hand side. Um, if you're a little bit farther down, um, you'll actually like kind of jump and land on top of it. Either way, you're trying to get to here. Uh, and then from here, you're going to run forward and then do a jump and curve to the right. You're aiming for this, uh, this area right here. Cool. Real easy. From here, crouch down and then uncrouch midair to grab that panel right there. If you do that right, you'll actually be able to grab the panel pretty quickly. Run back down this hallway. Hit this panel. I curve to the left for this one. Or sorry, to the right for that. Uh, just because you're a lot less likely to bounce into stuff. Uh, and like hit, hit weird textures in the floor. You're going to climb up here. You're going to... This is easier to do if you scroll jump. Because you can see where you, you're supposed to jump from. Uh, but you're going to run forward. You're going to jump like right as you get to the edge of this platform. And you have to keep scroll jumping once you hit those stairs. And you'll jump back up onto that platform. So to get to, to right here. Now, if, once you're here, you could try jumping up here, but for whatever reason, Doom Guy will not mantle this part of the platform. But if you come to here, you will. No idea why, but you can mantle to get up here real easy. Now, this jump can be a little bit finicky. Um, get to the corner, aim for right about here, and then you're going to do a uh, another boost, just like we did for that first rail boost uh, in this level, and uh, kind of the same way that we did the one in UAC. I'm going to get to this corner, aim for right here, and then jump SW. All right. Now, that will sometimes happen if you're unlucky. Um, you just navigate inbounds. Not a big deal, but uh, it is a little bit easier to... Or not a little bit easier, but a little bit faster to do it if you, uh, if you get lucky and actually boost up here. And if you do it right, you'll boost from right there all the way to here. Run over. Grab the doll. Gonna run over to this uh, this rail right here. Jump and do another SW boost to land right here. Now this is the spot you want to land on because you're gonna jump back and bounce here. So wherever you end up landing, sometimes it's inconsistent. Sometimes you get like knocked like down there into the the outer stretches. If you're landing here. You're gonna come over here, hit that secret trigger, run back this way, do a big scroll jump to clear this wall and land on the ceiling and you'll clip back and bounce. Open the door. Go straight back into this hallway in order to hit the codex requirement. I have lost a run to that. And then start glory killing zombies to, uh, to finish off variety. Make sure you get a bunch of different glory kills because that's, uh, that's what the challenge requires. If you try to do them right in the doorway, sometimes it doesn't quite work correctly, so it's usually a little bit easier if they're not directly in the doorway. Okay, I have to trigger this cutscene just so that you can come down here and get the auto map. Once you get the auto map, reload checkpoint. Now, as soon as you come out of this uh, out of this loading screen, you're going to curve to the left and hit the panel again, and then come straight back outside. You're gonna run, jump, get back up here. And then from here, instead of doing the boost back over there, we're gonna go this way to get to this spot over here. Now, what you can what you're gonna do is when you approach this area, you're gonna look for this rail right here. Aim for this this bulky part of the rail. You're gonna run up to it, you're gonna push forward, and then jump. And that'll land you right over here where you're trying to go. It's a really easy boost to do. Uh, from here, you're going to, instead of going back over there the way we did before, you're going to turn around and come this way. Look for this big box right here. You're going to the right-hand side of that box. You're going to get to right at the edge of this platform. And you're going to try and land on top of that hallway right there. If I walk forward, it disappears. So I'm trying to do it from back here so you can see it. You're going to land on top of that, that platform and then start backing up until you land on the next platform down. So get inside, trigger the secret, run forward, grab the plasma rifle here. Going to follow this way, open the vent. Now do not run out 
into the like just into this area or you will trigger the checkpoint instead you're going to come along this rail jump over the rail to get over here and that way you skip the checkpoint trigger and now you're going to do another rail boost so come over here now there's a there's a bunch of different setups for this boost as well whoops uh i'll show you mine which i prefer um there are a bunch that the All Secrets runners do that is a little bit different. Either way is fine. You're looking for this little thingamajig here. I don't know what you call it. But you're looking for that. You're going to line up right above this. So you'll notice how there's like this curve, this, this red curve with the silver here. You're aiming for like right north of that, right at the edge of that silver and red spot. From there, stand up, aim... Your cursor about halfway on and halfway off this bar, right in this spot, and you're gonna do a buffered uh, a buffered rail boost. So hit tab, hold forward and space at the same time, and then untab. As soon as you get the boost, you're gonna want to. Uh, ooh, that was a little bit scuffed, but we got it. You're gonna, as soon as you get the boost, you're gonna want to start holding backwards so that you clear the distance if you keep holding forward you'll you'll actually like land in bounds or potentially die uh, but you're looking to land right about here from here you can come over here jump on to these one of these two pistons to land in this other out, out out of bounds area this is actually the same place that we landed before that's where we did the boost to get all the way in bounds and all that stuff over here uh, but now we're over on this side you're gonna line up right along where these fans are spinning I'm going to line up right even with this line right here. Hold forward and walk, and very slowly walk off the edge. Now, if you land on the right spot, you'll land right on this doorway. From here, you can turn around and do this forward if you want. I find it easier to just hold backwards to do it. Hold backwards to get back inbounds here. Hit this secret trigger at this doorway. Don't forget that. And then you're going to go through this vent area to hit the last secret right here. Once you get that secret, reload checkpoint. <clears throat> now, as soon as you come out of this uh, this loading screen, um, just hold straight forward. I don't know why they didn't work just now, but uh, you're going to grab the codex, the heavy assault rifle, and then just run forward. you got to get the last secret, and then you're going to clip out of bounds to get into the level exit area. So you're going to run forward, jump up here, Get the doll. And then this is easier to do if you have the pistol out. Pretty much all paper clips are. I'm gonna run to this corner. Now, how you exactly approach this is up to you. What I uh, have found to be a little bit more consistent, albeit a little bit slower, is push yourself up against this side of the wall as opposed to this side. Get to this side. You're going to crouch down until you get to right about here where the, the line starts to... Uh, protrude out this way stand up hold hold your walk button and then just start to wiggle now if you do it right oh i had it a second ago oh, yeah sometimes the game can be a little bit uh, finicky there there so you see how we we clipped in bounds you can see at the very top of the screen how we're like sort of uh we, we sort of moved out of bounds or sorry clipped out of bounds um once you're here just look this direction. Um, it's not very precise. Don't worry too much about it. Just don't like look this way or whatever. Look into the wall. Uh, but hold forward and start scroll jumping. Now, if you're here, you're actually not far enough over yet. So what you can do is you can hold, uh, you can hold aim and then cr and walk, and you can kind of just like squeeze your way through. It's a little bit easier to actually just jump. I actually just got it. Um, here i don't get that very often it's kind of lucky that i did um but it's a little bit easier if you just like just scroll jump and keep pushing to the right um and you'll you'll land right about here and then you could just kind of like wiggle your way forward until you land right about here um now this uh looks like a face anyways you're gonna come over to this corner now i find it to be easier if i line up right in this corner take another couple steps forward and then st uh stand up i guess i was already standing uh to get yourself right about in this spot. You can do it right at the corner, but I found that I sometimes fall under the level if I do that. I've seen other runners do slightly different setups, but this one is consistent for me. Scroll jump, and then hit forward to get back in bounds. And then once you're once you're up here, you just need to move a little bit farther to the, to the right. When you see the level kind of respawn in, jump again, and you're back in bounds. 
And then, exit level. Easy. So that is resource operations. If you have any questions, come join us in the Discord. Ask questions there. We could show you alternative rail boosts, alternative paperclip setups. Uh, there's lots of lots of resources that we can offer you. Uh, as well, if you have questions about the run, you can always uh, come find me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash dangerous. Um, happy to answer whatever questions you have there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in Foundry.